Well, here is the setup that we need. We have the cable coming from the, the Swarm Evalkit satellite transceiver. And that's where originally it ends at the first female connector. The second female connector is, uh, or excuse me, the, the uh, male connector that's going to go into that has to uh, split in two for the two moisture probes. Uh, so we have to solder on two uh, female connectors, one uh, that will have the male connector from the original uh, moisture probe at hexadecimal number 20 or 32 <laughs> uh, decimal and then another uh, female connector uh, which will receive the male connector from the new moisture probe, moisture probe hexadecimal number 2A or decimal 42. Uh, so that's the soldering work that I have cut out for me uh, and heat shrink tubing for weatherproofing. So I better get to work. Here is the new moisture probe, probe number 42 decimal connected to its male uh, LED lighting plug so it can be plugged into the Y which will join both probes to the Evalkit satellite transceiver. Here's the Y <laughs> uh, all soldered together and uh, yeah I Made me wish that I had thought to look for uh, Y-shaped <laughs> heat shrink tubing uh, because right in here I don't think I can really guarantee that moisture couldn't get in. There, though each of the four wires coming from each cable, um, each pair of those from up here and down here is uh, encased in heat shrink tubing, the, the, the solder joint, with, with the adhesive lining. So. I guess it really doesn't matter that much if uh, some moisture gets in here, but I'll check into that. Y-shaped heat shrink tubing. It's time to test uh, the new probe with address 42 decimal and it's a brand new soldered on uh, cable which connects to a, a male plug which will go into the female uh, connector uh, to the uh, swarm eval kit uh, but of course I'm testing it out first on a microcontroller which is similar to the eval kit microcontroller and just to make sure that uh, my soldering and heat, sh heat shrink tubing added to all four wires inside, plus uh, added an external exterior uh, heat shrink tubing added to the entire thing. Well, it could easily have messed something up there. Could have wires that are not connected or wires that are shorted out, or we just need to know that all oh, this is working well before we hook up the Y and hook up both uh, probes to to this same uh, uh, microcontroller like the eval kit one. So got it all hooked up and then uh, we have the microcontroller connected by a USB-C cable up to the computer and uh, what we need to do is press control D uh, in order to run this program. So control D and see what happens. Oh, we got a moisture level of, uh, so it found the probe and it got a moisture level of 252 which is where it should be for being uh, in dry air and a temperature in Celsius of 24.6 degrees which is reasonable and that's good so the test is successful well now we're going to test the the uh, Y we have uh, a single probe, probe 42, hooked up to it 
and we'll test uh, connection to the other branch of the Y off uh, camera, but just to show that we're checking out all of the hardware, the cabling that we can prior to adding a change to the software and needed for reading from two different probes and <laughs> averaging the result together. Um, we don't want to be testing that and the cabling at the same time. So here we're testing the cabling and we just need to run uh, control D here see what we get. Yep, we got a temperature and a moisture level. Just to show, there's a moisture level, there's a temperature. Yeah, so that branch uh, of the Y is working. We'll uh, check out the other branch of the Y. Then we'll hook it all together and uh, make sure that that works okay. Um, well, can't really do that until we have software modified, so uh, I'm, I'm just going to have to assume that if the, the branches work independently, then the whole thing, whole thing works okay. Uh, and then we'll upload the new software that will allow reading from both probes. So that's the strategy here. One more uh, and hopefully final test before connecting everything up to the satellite transceiver. We now have both probes connected into the Y and connected to this uh, microcontroller. And uh, revised software to hopefully read both temperature and moisture levels from both probes, uh, report those, and then also uh, report the average temperature and average moisture level. So we've got uh, all the software loaded up here. And we need to find our cursor and open up the serial monitor. And uh, it's telling us it's ready for us to press Control D and run the software. So there we go, it's starting to get output here. We won't be able to see it all unless I enlarge the window for the serial monitor. And there we're getting uh, probe 2A, that's probe 42's moisture level and temperature, and probe 20's moisture level and temperature, all slightly different. So we get an average temperature, and obviously the average moisture is incorrect. <laughs> it's just giving us the average temperature again, so that means a, a coding error that I'll need to go in and fix. But overall, it looks like uh, the, the entire thing is working with that slight edit of software. So. That's all for this video. We've uh, put together and tested the new cabling required for two probes and uh, also uh, the software needed to, to read uh, from both of them. And things look like they're going to work. So uh, next step after that slight edit here is to then uh, go into the slightly more complicated <laughs> program for the uh, eval kit. Uh, satellite transceiver and make these same changes to it. And then also the Python software that's uh, going to the server, the Hive, and uh, retrieving all that data after it's been uploaded to the uh, to the Hive, uh, uploaded to the satellite and then downloaded to the Hive. And that, that'll be a, another step. So more videos to come.